Hey there. As you can tell from the title, <laughs> I got myself a Bafang BBS HD mid-drive motor. I did use my own money to get this. This is not a sponsored video. So I'm gonna try to modify the truck I got behind me to put the motor on it, make it a little bit better uh, going up hills. The reason I didn't go with this 625 Bafang motor is because, well, I really don't like the direction Bafang went with that. Um, I have plenty of batteries and I use them to run a generator that uh, runs a cooler, it charges off solar, and I also use it on my other e-bike and this one. So they're a little market grab to try to dominate the battery market. I don't think it was the best move on their part. So I actually consider the BBS HD a much better buy than M625. Looks like I got uh, some instruction manuals there. A couple crank arms, Looks like a little spacer. I asked them just to throw that in there when I ordered it. And these are uh, brake sensor cables. I went with the brake sensor cables instead of the integrated uh, grips because, well, the truck has hydraulic brakes, so you definitely want to get the brake sensors with it so you can still keep your hydraulic brakes, which is definitely really important with the extra amount of power being added to it. The 36 tooth ring, I had them come with uh, this one here. I'm going to try it out, but I have a feeling that to get the chain line to line up and everything equally, I'm going to end up having to go with uh, a different model, which that'll be on a later video where I talk about more about the chain line and everything. So yeah, you got the, the gear, the mounting hardware. Yeah, that looks like the battery cables there. That's the throttle, which I will be upgrading that in also in another video. That's the uh, that's a speed sensor there. Comes with that. Uh, this kit comes with a little headlight. Uh, they're usually not the brightest things, but. They do work for like a low beam just to keep yourself more visible or legal on a, as far as bikes are concerned. I usually upgrade to much higher beams because, well, when you're traveling at night, you really want to be seen and not run over on a bike. That is the 700C Bluetooth display, which I went with this one. On my other e-bike, I had more of a, when it sticks out more, kind of like a cell phone. Unfortunately, I did end up snapping those a couple times to get a little pricey out of water replace. It's got this plastic cover over it I've been sitting here trying to pick at <laughs> trying to get this thing off uh, it's a little bit annoying it says tearing or tearing or something like that yeah. there we go I finally got a hold of it man that was that was really hard to get a hold of that that layer there ah. I went with the 750C Bluetooth display, so it's a little bit more streamlined with the handlebars. I went with this because when crashing, ones that stick out, well, they, they end up snapping on you pretty quick. You don't have to take off any of the hand grips or anything to get the screen on, so it should make it pretty easy. Wish I would have went with more of like a oh, aluminum there or something other than plastic. Oh, wow. That is a... <sighs> Got some might to it. That's definitely all the weight right there. The box says on it 15 pounds. That feels like it's probably 14 of them right there. Nice. They ended up throwing in. Oh, that's kind of nice. Those aren't, those aren't too bad. It's much better than the little rubber gloves I usually carry with me. So we got some gloves. And threw in some zip ties. Probably never enough zip ties. So I can uh, remove the uh, pedal arms. That's the tool to basically get, get everything tightened on and off the bike. <laughs> that, that's kind of funny. You'd think they would have got tried to get a little closer and put it like as a, as a 500 watt or at least like 750 on it. Made it a little bit more believable. But hey, maybe I'll still stick them on it. It's kind of funny. I mean, most officers aren't, aren't going to know anything about electric engine bike. Besides, one of the things I always argue is this does not dictate how many watts the system uses. It's all done by, well, it's actually the controller inside of it dictates how many watts are in it. And then, well, this is the age of computers, so you can set it to anything you want. My, my argument is when you set it to a lower setting, you're no longer, well, in this instance, a thousand watts or 750 or 500. Usually I only end up using maybe 100 watts out of the thing. Plus I'm riding in traffic and trying to get ahead of things and in that case I just like to go faster just to be a little bit safer. 
So one of the things I recommend doing with these before you hook it up into the bike is giving it a bench test. Just to make sure everything works, uh, it would be kind of a pain in the butt to get everything on your bike and then discover something wasn't functioning. So I'm going to hook this up real quick and we're going to give it a bench test right here on the table. Just got to get a battery and hook up all the basic stuff to it. So yeah, here is the base harness. <laughs> Need to hook that up. This hooks up to this 8-pin connector here, so I hook that up. Pretty much I just line the arrows up there. And there's a British shape, Bob Geronical. Okay, now, okay, now that makes a little bit more sense. We have <laughs> ones that actually match, so pretty much you can't go wrong here. They're going to go one place. Don't want to force them in, of course. You don't want to bend these pens, but same thing. Should be match the arrows. Bam, and those give a nice waterproof seal there. So we got the throttle hooked up. We're also going to need the uh, screen hooked up. So same thing, it has a green end. Bam, green. Look at that, you gotta love that. Same thing, match the arrows up. The one's black on this one. And that one's together. Got the brake sensors and the magnets that go with it. So plug them in for a quick test. Same thing, yellow to yellow. Got two left. Got the uh, gear shift sensor, which I still have on the way, and the speed sensor. Those two I'm not gonna hook up to the bench test, obviously, because, well, one I don't have, and it's kind of hard to do a speed test on the on the bench. Picked up my small battery, the one I fixed not too long ago. We're gonna use it. Power up the system. Should be should be all powered up now. Now take the little controller here and figure out how we turn it on. Because honestly, I have no idea. Probably this little button that looks like power right there. I'm assuming. Probably hold it. Okay, so. Screen is working good. Okay, we've got it in pedal assist mode one there. Test the engine here and see uh, if she spins. Start out. Okay. Oh, I know why it's not working. <laughs> yeah. Oops, <laughs> the brake. It's got to be next to the magnets. Right now, it thinks it's braking. So yeah, that doesn't that doesn't work too well. All right, she works. Nice. Let's see if we can change it to a different, different mode. How much the? I don't know if the affect the throttle here. I'm not, not too sure. So we'll go up to. Looks like right now the highest it goes up to is five. I believe there's a setting to make it go up to nine with this particular screen. So yeah, that definitely makes a difference on the throttle speed too. Air 21H. What the hell does that mean? Using the power of the internet, I discovered the 21H Air is from and not being able to find the speed sensor, which makes sense because it's not hooked up. So. All right, now we got a speed sensor on. It's not going to, of course, tell any kind of speed, but let's see if it stops throwing that air. Good to me. Air 21. <laughs> okay, so I think it detects that that there is no speed going on, so it's throwing the air. Apparently you can't test that. That went too far off the bike. So, nope, oh, you hold the negative down, that's the walk mode. And the, the positive is the lights. It's pretty standard in the e-bike world. So it looks like it's doing good. You can test it in uh, assist mode one in the yeah, it doesn't seem like the speed sensor cares all that much. For a while, and then it kicks in anyway, so yeah. All right, now it's time to give the bike its balls. But you guys are gonna have to wait for that because that's gonna be on the next video. For now, thanks for watching. Try to have a good day. Bafang in the description. Buy one.